Imagine being in so much pain that you cannot leave home for three to four days each month. The pain feels like razor blades inside your abdomen, cutting and burning you from within. Imagine it may get so bad that you only have very few, if any, pain-free days. You spend most of the time curled up in bed. You cannot have a normal relationship with your partner and friends. Your doctor does not understand the pain you're in and tells you to get on with it. And you do, convinced that your period pain is normal and not too different from everybody else's. Yet, sometimes you bleed so heavily that it's challenging to be away from home. It feels like no one wants to hear about your symptoms. Talking about periods makes people uncomfortable, but we should talk openly about periods. It's natural for women to menstruate. Unfortunately, one in 10 of these menstruating women experiences the agonizing symptoms for about seven and a half years before they hear the word endometriosis for the first time. Endometriosis. The disease is as common as diabetes, yet hardly anyone has heard about it. Having endometriosis means having tissue that resembles the one of the lining of the womb, the endometrium, but outside of the womb. This endometriosis tissue can be anywhere on the inside wall of the abdomen and other organs, including the fallopian tubes, ovaries, bladder and bowel. Nobody really knows how the tissue gets there. Most experts think it's during menstruation. Blood and cells may reach the abdominal cavity upwards through the fallopian tubes and settle there. The endometriosis tissue responds to hormones across the menstrual cycle just as the endometrium does. It grows and bleeds, however, it cannot leave the body through the vagina. The shed tissue and blood in the abdomen cause local inflammation that irritates the nerves. The nerves signal to the brain, generating excruciating pain. Endometriosis affects around 190 million women worldwide. That is as if every woman in Eastern and Northern Europe had endometriosis. Yet, we still do not understand what exactly causes endometriosis and the pain. Typical symptoms include painful periods and abnormal heavy bleeding, pain outside of period, during intercourse, passing urine and stools. Other symptoms include fatigue and fertility issues. Endometriosis symptoms are very similar to other gynecological conditions. Lack of endometriosis awareness and easy way of diagnosing it mean prolonged suffering. Currently, endometriosis can only be diagnosed by performing a surgery. Surgeons look inside the patient's abdomen, searching for endometriosis tissue. If found, they remove it. Such removal relieves symptoms, but endometriosis can come back. The surgery is invasive, so hormonal treatment and painkillers are prescribed first. The hormones temporarily put the ovaries to sleep, stopping hormonal fluctuations. As a result, the endometriosis tissue stops growing and bleeding. And while there is no cure for endometriosis, the treatment prescribed is mostly effective and improves the quality of life of millions of women. It is hard for many of us to relate to women with endometriosis, but just imagine what it must be like to suffer from pain that in some cases hurts more than giving birth. If you think you know someone that experiences any of the symptoms mentioned in this video, please share it with them and encourage them to find help and doctors that are willing to have an open conversation about their symptoms. Finding the right help early on can save years of debilitating pain. For more information on endometriosis, please visit the websites highlighted in the description of this video.